uh, the scaled solar system. Okay, so on this piece of paper, we're actually going to create a solar system. So if we're going to create a solar system like the assignment I gave you, on one end of the paper, you're going to have to put a little tiny dot. So on one end of the paper, put a little tiny dot, as small as you can make it. Okay, just a little tiny dot. And that's going to represent Pluto. So a little tiny dot, that represents Pluto. Go to the other end of the paper on the same side as Pluto and draw like a half circle. And that's going to be your sun. Okay, so you have a circle facing towards Pluto? Yeah. Towards Pluto. All right, so you have a half circle on this end and Pluto on this end. It doesn't matter. If you like to go to the other way, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right, now this is the hard part. You got to follow this. Everybody ready? All right. Take Pluto and bring Pluto to the sun. Now you just did what had not been done for 4.5 billion Wait. years. Tesseract. 4.5 billion years ago, Pluto and the sun were in the same place. But not anymore. Okay, make a crease. Make a crease, yeah. fold it in half. So basically, in less technical terms, you're going to fold it in half. Okay. All right. Now open it up. Here's the question for you. What planet is on that crease? Jupiter. Jupiter. Wrong. <laughs> at the observatory. Uranus. At the, at the observatory. At the observatory, all the kids say, every time I ask what planet it is, they say what? Earth. Earth. Right? So they'll say Earth. It usually throws the adults off, but you were right. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. So, so the way astronomers say it, the way astronomers say it is Uranus. But so, on, in the middle of your solar system, you're going to put a dot. Bigger than Yeah, much bigger than Pluto, and then a U. Okay. All right, I won't go too fast, I don't want to get ahead. All right, you lost your, you lost your writing or something there? No, it's my hand. Okay. All right, so now take Pluto and fold Pluto back to Uranus and make a crease there. All right, what planet do you think goes there? Jupiter. Jupiter. No. no. I think he gets Pluto. Saturn? No? It's the planet between Pluto and Uranus. Earth. Now. <laughs> no, not Earth either. Mars. No. Neptune. 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 God of the underworld. <laughs> Yo, man. I watched the best. Team effort. You know you heard of it. You know you heard of it. Uh, it's about the same size. It's a gas giant. Okay, now, now that's the easy part. Okay, this is where it gets really difficult. All right, now you're going to take the sun and fold the sun back to Uranus. Okay, and the question comes out, what planet goes there? <laughs> Earth. Earth, right, yeah. <laughs> Not Earth. Yeah. Uh, Venus. Venus, yeah, no. No Venus. Mars. You just throw anything out because. Pluto? Pluto, yes, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> we have Pluto. Yeah, what? We've got Pluto. Saturn. Saturn. Wow. We'll take Saturn. We'll take Saturn. For five dollars. Good job, Fox. Saturn. How big is Saturn? Saturn's thick. Saturn's just beautiful. So can you make it as big as you want? They're all the same size on this paper. Is this Are they? That's what I got to draw a good Saturn, like five, with the rings and everything. All right, nothing else is acceptable. Okay? I've done this once or twice. Okay? Three times. I think this is my third time doing this. <laughs> okay.
okay, now you're going to take, you're going to take the sun and fold that back to Saturn. Look at that. The sun and fold it back to Saturn. Okay, is that what we want to do? Sun back to Saturn? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Sun back to Saturn. Okay, now what planet do you think goes on this line? The Earth, right? Jupiter. Jupiter. Mars. 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 Venus. Venus. <laughs> Has to be Venus. Has to be Venus. Let's put Jupiter there. <laughs> okay, Jupiter's real big, and it's got some lines across it and a nice red spot on it. <coughs> okay? Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop and ask a question right now. Is this turning out the way you expected? Yeah. Oh my God. Space is really big. Oh my God. Okay. Halfway, halfway through your solar system, there's only three planets after that, right? Is this the way you were taught in grade school? No. No, oh, they lied to you. Oh. They lied to you. No lie? <laughs> no lie? Just to make you happy. They lied to you. Just to make you happy. Well, they had a good reason. It was good enough. It's good reason to make you happy. Okay, now, now we're going to fold Jupiter. We're going to fold Jupiter, or the sun back to Jupiter. And make a crease there. You'll, and you guys, you'll never get this one. Right? So what planet do you think goes on that line? Venus. Venus. Mars. Mars. Yeah, you'll be right one time. That's why I'm going to blast Earth. 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 No, there's no planet on that one. That's the asteroid belt. Right? What? Tricky. Yeah. So put a, put a whole, bunch of, whole bunch of asteroids on there. That's the asteroid belt. That's the planet that never was. All right? Or maybe it's or maybe it was. I'm probably going to say not yet. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a million years. Alright, now fold the sun back on the asteroid belt and make a crease. Alright? The sun back on the asteroid belt and make a crease. Now, what planet do you think goes there? Mars. Mars, no? No planet. Venus! Who said no planet? I did. You're right. No planets go there. But just outside of the line, towards the asteroid belt, put a dot there, and that'll be Mars. It'll be a small dot. Outside of the yeah, outside. So so outside, outside of the asteroid. crease, towards the asteroid belt. And then, so you, you should be able to put your finger. You should be able to put your finger on the crease, and Mars would be on the outside of your finger, and then on the inside of your finger would be Earth. So Mars and Earth. Why can't we live this? <laughs> well, we can. It's still really. Far. We just we just have to hold our breath. Yeah, probably won't work. Right. So, what? Soon we will be able to. Okay. Now, last fold. This one's going to get a little tight. We got to fold uh, the sun back to that crease between Mars and Earth. And we're going to do just about the same thing here. Except they're going to be a little closer together. So we're going to have Venus on the outside of the crease towards Earth, and then Mars or Mercury on the inside of the crease. All right. So, so it should look like this. All right. So it should look like this. Than you would have expected, and you know, 
if our paths, our orbital trajectories would not have coincided, you would have spent your entire existence thinking that the planets are very orderly and they go like you've been taught in grade school. Like that. Right? No, it's because it fits on a shelf really nice. That's why you were taught that way. Because if they taught you the real way, there wouldn't be a shelf big enough for them. Yeah, I used to have it right. on a lunchbox. I yeah. Yeah, you would, you would, you'd be the weird kid carrying that lunchbox that you'd have to put on the roof of the bus. Right? <laughs> right? We've got that lunchbox again. Open up the emergency door. So, now, what, what does this have to do with, what does this have to do with your uh, scale solar system project? Well, not really. I told you guys I was a great artist, right? Okay, this means we have to make our bigger one. So, so okay, believe it or not, that's the United States. Oh <laughs> right? <laughs> that's North America, okay? Right? Come on, let's so just first make it. approximation. Yeah. yeah. Lewis and Clark haven't yeah. finished their work yet. Hey, the satellite images that they show you guys aren't the real one, all right? <laughs> they're, just, they're just to make us happy? They're just to fake, yes, they're to make you happy. Nice. So, yeah. <laughs> so, if you were going to make a scale solar system, like I want you to do for the next assignment, and you decided you wanted yours to go from Miami to Vancouver, well, this is about all you have to do. Put that like that. So, really, all you're doing is, is taking this kind of concept, and this is not exact, but it works out really well to show you the, the spacing. You're taking this concept and you're sticking it on someplace. Have, have you thought about where you might put your scale solar system at? How do you like to do that so it's electronic? Well, we can do that. I, I, that's what I'm going to show you next. Okay, but pick a place where you might think one would start, a good place to start. Miami can be the sun. Miami? Okay, where are you going to go to? Uh, New England. Yeah, New England. You know what's really weird? If you go from Miami to Boston, or Boston to Miami, Baltimore is a planet. In both of those. You mean if you use the two same reference points? Yeah, exactly.